Operation of Water Resource Recovery Facilities, MLP-11, is the one and only definitive resource. Now presented in a one-volume format, this how-to guide is the key to maintaining compliance, perfecting procedures, fostering equipment efficiency, and recovering valuable resources. How do you use MOP 11 in your practice? I use it, I would say, weekly, every time I'm either designing a facility or trying to check things about operations. I'll take portions of it in uh, training the students, but I also do use almost all of it in training operators. I'm a product line manager, and uh, it's right by my desk, so whenever I need it or some information, I'll just grab it and use it you know, from day to day, every day actually, almost, yeah. So it, it really explains the basics of every single unit process that we have. Go-to reference for wastewater operators. I don't think there's any other available that covers what this covers in terms of operations. And this is the seventh edition, so we've been improving it over the years. What we do in our work is not just treating water, but is looking at how we recover the resources in the water, such as phosphorus, such as the nutrients if we put biosolids on land, uh, biogas that we're recovering from other processes as well as updating the technologies. A lot of the other manuals are written more towards engineering practices and tell you, I guess, how to design a facility or how, how to design a process that might work, whereas this gets more into the nitty-gritty of how it should operate and how it should function. Well, I've really been committed to operators my whole career, and I uh, really feel like they should have the best knowledge and the, the best resource they can have, and so... The Water Environment Federation has a process called our Technical Practice Committee Method. That involves intense peer review. It makes sure that things are relevant and that things are up to date by spreading it out to the various technical experts and, and folks involved in the peer review process. So we know what's in here is accurate and represents the state of the industry.